morning and welcome to Breaking Method Pursuit. My name's Joel and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of this 2018 Ford Ranger XLS PX 4x4. It's got a 3.2 litre turbo diesel engine in this vehicle with a five year warranty on this one as well. It's got approximately 47,000 kilometres on the clock and a nice magnetic colour. It is a five cylinder 3.2 litre as mentioned before with 147 kilowatts at the wheels which has your three uh, it'll be a 3.5, I believe, ton towing capacity. However, please check that um, as it's just coming up and slightly different on our website. However, I believe it will be a 3.1. Having a quick look here, we do have an 8.7 per 100 uh, for your fuel combined here, and is as mentioned before, your 4 by 4 Now, I've got it open uh, kind of like uh, a little bit of a Tesla with the windows, uh, sorry, with the doors at the moment, but I just wanted to be able to actually access it with the video for you so you can see exactly what's in the toolboxes because that's primarily what you're probably going to be looking at when you're looking to purchase this vehicle. What we're going to be doing today is a walkthrough of the vehicle, having a quick look around the exterior condition of the car, which I can safely say that the paintwork on this car is in immaculate condition all round, um, and you'll be able to see when walking around the video itself. We do have alloys in this vehicle as well, which I believe they've probably been put back on because the previous owners had different wheels on it because they are in immaculate condition. There's a few little marks on them, like tiny little marks probably from storage, but other than that, they're very good condition there, and they are your 16-inch alloys. 3.2 litre badge on the very side just there, and you've got your colour match wing mirrors and door handles. Um, sorry, you've got your... It's a little bit of a grey colour actually, that's not really colour matched. I haven't really seen that before, which is kind of cool. So it's like a, a, a light grey um, wing, wing mirror just there, and you've just got a, uh, a, like a matte black door handle as well. Quick peek into the interior here, we do have a very good amount of storage space on this door trim here as well. Now you've got your Ranger mats down the very bottom, and the carpet's in pretty good condition underneath. And now your interior seats are in very, very good condition all through this vehicle too. So there's nothing that jumps out at me at all when you're having a look at the seats. No rips, no tears or anything like that at all. Back left hand door, tri uh, door here is in good condition as well. Having a quick peek into the door trim as well, very good condition here and a good amount of storage space in there too. A few little marks throughout the interior just because it is a used vehicle and does have a little bit of use on it. However, you've got some storage space behind the passenger seat just here and you've also got um, some sorry, storage space just behind here which is nice and neat. And then you've also got a 12 volt adapter and then a 230 volt or 150 watt adapter in the very center just there. And that will most likely be your um, universal plug. Yeah, there you go. So seats are in pretty good condition. You've got isofix points on both uh, the left and the right hand side seat. Two cup holders in the very center compartment as well. So you've got all of that able to be accessed nice and easily. Continuing through to the back now, I know this is where the magics are gonna happen for you. So it is a tray and it's rattling because I've got it open. So I'll close it up and show you exactly what it looks like. However, there is custom shelving built into this half of the tray. The other half doesn't have anything in it currently. So that gives you lots of flexibility to do whatever you need for your particular tray. Closing this one down, um, I'll, I'll lock it really quickly so I can show you what the size of the, of the tray looks like when it's also closed up. So, get that one all closed and that one as well. And then we'll come up here with the side of the tray and then simply go over here and latch that on and close that one up. So that's the side of the tray. Looks very, very nice. Um, it is a Fleet Trades tray. However, I believe the toolbox in the, uh, is by MW Sheet Metal. So you'll be able to see the badges and stuff like that on that when you actually come through. Now the left-hand side is a little bit bigger than the right-hand side over here, which you can see just by having a look at the back here. Uh, they are slightly different in length just there. However, you've got lots of storage in the back of the actual tray itself. And you can see we do have a hook there. So this has been set up primarily for someone that's doing a trade. On the right-hand side over here, you can see we do have a very good amount of space in this one and the ability to customize it however you want. By all means, you can fill it up with the shelves that you would like to. There's probably been some in here in the past. There is a few uh, holes that have been drilled into it. However, you can customize that to however you like as well. Closing this one up, and I'll show you exactly what the side of the tray looks like, and we'll close that one all up, just so that that way you can see exactly what it is. Lifting this one up really easily, and simply latch this one down, pushing that one down as well. Now let's come around to the back, and we'll lock all this one up, so you can see exactly what the tray looks like. Now coming across, Hook that one in, and then likewise again with the other one. You can see exactly what the back of the car looks like. As you can see, we do have parking sensors built into the edges of the tray just there, along with a tow bar underneath as well, which is a nice addition to that one too. So continuing through over here as well, uh, you can see we do have nice new tires. Um, it's got your nice rims as well on the very back right hand corner here with, uh, it has no gutter rash or anything. Small little scarf mark there, but that's about it on that one. Back right hand door is in very good condition yet again. Uh, jumping into the door trim over here, very good condition over here too, with a very good amount of storage space. Um, we have the nice little uh, like leather kind of feel just here too, uh, which is a nice one. 
Continuing through to the driver's side now, we do have a paintwork, yet again, in immaculate condition. There's nothing that jumps out at me at all. And continuing through to the very front bumper here and the front right-hand rim, very good condition all around. Jumping into the driver's seat now, we can see we do have uh, some coverage in here just because it has recently been cleaned. However, you can see that the seats are in very good condition and very clean for that matter too. Jumping into the interior now, I'll have a little bit of a seat in here so I can show you exactly what it looks like on the interior. Alrighty, so just keep in mind, I don't have a huge amount of room to run through for everything in here. However, we'll look for whatever we can. Uh, window controls and everything on our window uh, door trim over here, along with our lock and unlock functionalities. You've got your auto lights and auto wipers, along with your mirror controls just over here on the right hand side, along with your light bar if you do decide to equip one. On the right hand side over here, we do have our indicators located. I'm actually going to jump out of the car because it'll probably be a little bit easier for you so I can show you through it. So we have our indicators on the right hand side over here. We've got all of our mode controls and functionality over here on the right hand side as well, including our cruise control settings just there too. On the left hand side over here, we have lots of functionalities available to us as well, including your volume control as you seek and also all of your options to go through uh, like your displays itself. So like you can go through changing your head unit and everything. Now with the head unit itself, you have lots of flexibility, including Bluetooth audio, and you've also got your radios, which is your standard on there as well. You've also got a numpad on the right hand side over here, which is quite unique to this car, just because you don't actually get that very often at all. A little bit of storage up there in the very center, and then coming down a bit further, you have your climate control settings with 12, two, two 12 volt adapters on either side. And then you've also got a USB point and AUX cable, uh, sorry, an AUX point down the very bottom even further. And then if you come down a little bit further as well, we have our diff lock, uh, traction control, downhill descent, and your four wheel drive control settings. In the center just here as well, we do have um, just your, obviously your gear stick and everything. And then your center compartment space, it is nice and neat there as well. So it's peeking into there, it's in good condition too. Sunglasses compartment is located on the very roof as well. So you have that available to you. So you don't have to throw them on the seat and let them fall down uh, like I do with my cars as well. Other than that though, that pretty much wraps up our walk around video of this vehicle. If you do have any further questions about this car itself, please don't hesitate to contact Tefra and the staff today on 9907-0555. Alternatively, please make a booking to have a look at this vehicle today as it will not last long and it will be down here. Uh, and I, I can't guarantee, unfortunately, if you do decide to come down, if you're coming from a little bit away, that the vehicle will be on site because we do move our vehicles around quite regularly. So please keep in mind, book an appointment for us so we can make sure that this car is here, nice and clean and ready for your appointment when you come through. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Joel and have a lovely afternoon.